G'day guys, how's it going? All right, in this video, we're doing a review-ish on the Cedar Summit Tree Line TL1 sleeping bag. Now, I've only just got it. Last night, I slept here in this cold old shed on this cold old concrete floor. I think I've just worked out that concrete um, is actually to sleep on is colder than if you were out camping and sleeping on dirt. But I'll get into that a bit later. Um, so as I said, I've only just got this, so I don't have an actual real world out actually camping. Um, now I slept on this, on the bloody, this thing. I had a video out about that and I said it was an absolute game changer. This isn't a game changer, but, um, there's some pretty cool things to it that I like. Righto, let's get into it. Rightio guys, so this is the testing of the Cedar Summit sleeping bag. This is where I'm sleeping tonight. <laughs> Bloody crazy. So the temperature at the moment here in the shed, in the garage, 11.8 degrees Celsius. Right, eh? So, got the tripod and a light, so hopefully during the night I'll be able to, if I grab that, oh, see what temperature it is and maybe let you know what I think. Right, yeah, so what I'll be wearing is just a long sleeve t shirt and on the bottoms I've just got my thermal pants on. I will take my boots off, obviously. <laughs> I would normally have a beanie on, but I'm not going to put a beanie on. I'll take this bloody hat off. Um, and that's it. When I'm out camping, normally I'll have my um, cargo pants on. I'll have a, um, what do you call it, a, um, a hoodie. And what I'm just wearing around, I normally just jump in the sleeping bag with all that gear on. It basically, I don't know whether it keeps you warmer or not, but it's also when you get up in the morning... All I do is put my shoes on and I'm right to go. Rightio, so I am bloody tucked in here, got all my bloody bikes. <laughs> um, the other thing that I would normally have is my thin fleece blanket I would put in the uh, sleeping bag, but I'm not putting that in either. So I'm giving this pretty much it's, um, I'm making sure that by being in the shed that I should be colder in the shed because in the tent it's a smaller area. <clears throat> anyway, you know I'll do the right thing anyway. All right, guys, I'll uh, hopefully see you sometime in the early hours of the morning. All right, guys, good morning. It is 7.30 in the morning. Let's turn that. Oh, that is terrible. That is really terrible. Um, let me turn that off. Oh. Um, so the verdict is, yep, I stayed warm. I got a little bit cooler in the early, on um, the last couple of hours, but not, <clears throat> not shivering or anything like that. Just you can feel the, I think I feel the cold coming up through the concrete, um, like through the actual um, mat. Not overly bad. I could just feel it. I could notice it. So, um, so I think not having a beanie on, um, not having the extra clothes that I would normally have, not having the the um, blanket and I don't know what it got down to what is it uh, so I reckon it stayed that's 11.6 so it would have stayed pretty constant in here at 11 degrees um, so a little bit warmer I suppose in here than what I would have normally been you know camping or whatever there you go anyway whatever back to the bloody review I I just saw the dog coming out of the garage and I'd seen her just a minute ago pooping so I thought I'd come in and bloody check she's got on after pooping and she sat and look even on there oh my lord brand bloody new <laughs> crazy right I've got to clean this up then I'll come back to you are you happy with yourself are you? Hmm? No idea. 
Righto guys, I think I've dodged a bullet because this is brand new, the coating on there, it basically just wiped off. On the mat it didn't matter, it just wiped straight off that material, but um, it's all good. All right, okay, let's now get into it. Righto, so this is what it is. Cedar Summit Treeline TL1 sleeping bag. Comes with just a stuff sack, not a compression, just a stuff sack. Um, it also comes with this bag, so when you finish camping, now I don't know whether I'm going to do this because I, I do things a little bit different. So obviously because it's ducked down, you should obviously just leave it not in the compressed state and you pack it in, in there, you know, put it in your cupboard or whatever. So first of all, it just, it's, it feels really comfortable, the material's really good, it is ducked down. It has, now let's get this out, it has 600 plus loft. I'm not in, I don't know all the bloody sleeping bag bullshit. Um, there's all this bloody stuff here. It's comfort rating is minus three centigrade. Obviously it's best, it's full comfort is two degrees. And I'm going, well, I'm not too sure about that, but I don't know about that concrete floor. Might have been playing havoc with me. And then, it has the extreme, which is negative 19, and that is, you know, hypothermia. You know, it'll just help you not get hypothermia, I think is how this works. So that you're really comfortable. In actual fact, I think they base this comfort for a female. That's actually for a male in um, the fetal position or a curled up position. And then that is at the absolute extreme on borderline of getting hypothermia. Right, now actually looking at this zipper part, you'll note, see how it's got that, this, it's not a, it's not, it's not the material. I mean, how many times guys have we been doing up our zippers or undo it and that always gets caught and you've got to go back and then you go up and then back and stuff arsing around. Well, I tell you what, Cedar Summit have done the deal. So that's all the way along and same on the other side. So when you grab the zip, whoop, where are you? There. Just bloody zip it up. There's no stuff passing around. And last night, that was just, oh, look at that. There you go, I caught it on the outside. So you can still catch it. Oh, geez, I got bloody good, didn't I? Oh, come on, Mark, you can't script this shit. What are you doing? Jeez. Oh, I'm right caught. Oh. oh, what a great feat. I'm still catching it. Shit. Hang on. Oh, bloody hell, guys. All right, so on the outside, you can still grab it. So why didn't they do that on the outside? But it, it does work way better. Even though, right then, it didn't look like it. Right, eh, Mark? Shut up. The other thing I like about it is that it has the... That's the end of it. That's the box. So it doesn't come... It, it's not just to a flat like that. So when I was sleeping in it, that worked really well. I think that's about it, guys, really. Uh, it does actually have a pocket, which was a good little feature. So in there... <clears throat> and last night I put my mobile phone. It, there's no way to secure it. There's no, would have been good if they put some Velcro. But anyway, I put the phone in there and I thought, oh, that's gonna be a real pain. But I actually didn't feel it. And it didn't fall out. So that's a good little thing. You could even put a hot, a hot pack or something in there as well. Actually guys, there's one other thing that I liked about it. So this is a mummy style. So it obviously goes down smaller at the feet, but this is what they call a relaxed. So it's actually got a bit more width in it. So you're not tight in it, you've got plenty. And I really liked that. Obviously the, the bigger your sleeping bag goes, the less warm it's gonna be. Now I'll, I'll get my other one out and hopefully that'll show up. But the way this video is going, anything could bloody happen. So <laughs> hang on. Righto guys, so you can see that mummy shape. This is my one that I've been using for many years. Lay that over. 
And as per usual this video, this is actually the same bloody... So I wonder if this is a relaxed one, I don't know, but it's wider at the feet. Right, so this one here, see how it's just that, like, that bloody shape? Whereas this one has that bit of a box. Felt really good on the feet. Crazy. Why is nothing working in this video? Right here, guys, let's try and stuff this into the bloody stuff sack and see how, um, how well it can be uh, compressed. <clears throat> It's crazy when you push on it, just how much it goes down. What? <clears throat> That's not too hard. <coughs> Excuse me. So, booyah. Look at that. That's pretty good. And then if you had a stuff sack, you could... Oh, I'm going to show you. You could get that down even further. That's just crazy. So what I want to try and do, I'm going to weigh this, hang on. Rightio guys, so here we go. We're going to weigh it. 990 grams. Brilliant. So, I wonder if I can stuff that into that and how much does it weigh. Rightio, pull this out. See, so obviously the Cedar Summit is ducked down. This one is not ducked down. It's just obviously some type of, um, I don't know. It's not ducked down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to have a chance in hell. I don't think. Oh, I'm struggling. But well, I'm going to try. Yeah, not going to happen. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's it. It's... So, I'm nearly, but... Yeah. Um, so, how much does this weigh now? Right, I'll do the old bucket test. So, put that on there. Reset this to zero. Oh, actually... And if I chuck that on there, hopefully nothing's... What do we got? 1.757. So one, one kilo, 756 grams. So that's a big uh, weight saving. Yeah, obviously when I say it's, a, you know, it's not a lot of weight, but you know, when this is nearly double the, um, the weight of that, and then there's obviously that compression. But the type of riding that I like to do and you know, when you get in the sand and all that, every little bit all adds up. Right, what's, what's bloody next? Right, so as I was saying before about the, the cold concrete floor, I've slept with that. That's the Cedar Summit Ether uh, Light XT, the game changer. This is absolutely the most comfortablest I've ever slept on. Brilliant, love it. Now I've slept on it out and I didn't get any cold coming through and in actual fact it would have been colder, I was on the Murray River, um, it was colder than it was in here and I had no cold coming through. So I think the concrete floor was getting a lot of that cold coming up through, just pumping it into me. So I think that's why that sleeping bag didn't perform as good as what I expected it to. Um, so that's, I've got to, yeah, so this will be a bit of a, oh, I'll have to do an update on that, but that'll be in a Man Cave Tuesday video, not another one of those. Right, yeah, guys, I suppose I should hop in it for you, eh? So it fits perfectly on the, um, on the old mat. Feet right down the end. 
Yeah, I really like the way that that box thing bloody happens. So I'm six foot tall. Now this is the thing that I liked. No catches whatsoever. This is off in. Bring that around. How do I do that? Hey, presto. So I've got like plenty of room in there. I can get around on it. I have uh, pillows and I use the pillows inside here, kind of like holds it in there. And has a drawstring that you can bloody have all this pull up around you. Um, yeah, cool as. The hell is it? Oh. Now, yeah, getting out. That, that zipper, that's game changer. Apart from when it caught before. <laughs> oh, that was the bloody Matt Clay. There we go. Righto, let's, let's have a bloody chat. Righto, guys, so, did I need to upgrade from this one to this new one. No, I did not. This was still perfectly fine. I would run this and then I'd run the uh, blanket, this thin blanket inside it, kept me toasty warm. And if, yeah, if you really got cold, I'd use these hot hand things, fine. But after getting that Cedar Summit mat, I thought, oh well, we'll have a look at it. And look, I do enough camping, um, and stuff for me to go, well, I can justify spending a bit more. So that was $218. I think I got it from snowies.com.au. Uh, Wild Earth, I mean, just do a, do a search, see how bloody cheap you can get it. I think 218 was the cheapest that I could find it. There are other places that have it and they have it a bit dearer and whatever. You can get this one in a long. Uh, so two hundred and eighteen dollars, and that's duck down. So that's Cedar Summit. This is Cedar Summit's most affordable duck down sleeping bag, because from that one you start going up three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars. I just blows my brain. <laughs> but hey, yeah, you know, there are people that go into crazy places and people that have a lot of money and whatever, so they can they can do that stuff. Um, so. We'll find out how, how um, warm it really is, not on a cold concrete floor as I go along. But remember guys, you can pick up these really thin, they're very thin, there's not much bloody to them. They're like a, I don't know what you call it, a bloody fleece blanket. You get them at Kmart or any of those cheap places, you normally pay not even 10 bucks for one of these. But the idea is not to go, over the top of the bag. I, Dave from Ballarat told me about this. We're out at uh, Whipperfield National Park doing bloody sand riding there with Ken and that. And um, I think the first night we were saying it was cold and Dave said, for Christ's sake, put the blanket on the inside. He said, trust me, just do it. So me and Nay did it. We put the blanket in there like that. And I tell you what, it made all the difference. Because what it's doing is it's filling up the space in there. So there's less space in there that needs to be to keep the, the warm in there. So that's just absolutely brilliant. So that's a good tip to remember. Put the blanket in the bag, not over it. Um, and the other thing is just those hot hand things. You can get them at bloody Chemist Warehouse. And we sell the bloody stupid things. But if you go to Chemist Warehouse, you'll get them cheaper than what we sell them for. Um, and yeah, just open one of those up, stick it in there, and hey presto, you will be toasty warm with one of those. Whacked in there. Right, oh, so I've, I've saved weight, I've saved space because it compresses down. I like the foot, the box foot system on it. I like the extra space, even though my old one seemed to be the same size anyway, hence most probably why I like this one. Um, and that zipper, the zipper, that is, the zipper's, go, I'll call that game changer. I don't want to overuse the game changer um, term, but the zipper thing, yeah. 
Righto, that's it. I think that's it. That's all I've got to bloody tell you. Righto, guys. Keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.